Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be dealing with an exponential system. We have 2 to the power a equals 3 and 12 to the power b equals 8 and we're supposed to evaluate a b plus 2 b. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method I'm going to do the following. I'm going to start working with 12 to the power b. Write the 12 as 2 to the second power times 3 and raise it to the power b. And we can use the properties of exponents here and write it this way. Now we know that this is equal to 8 so let's go ahead and set it equal to 8. Now one thing we can use here is we know that 2 to the power a is equal to 3. So we can go ahead and substitute that here. Let's go ahead and do it. Replace 3 with 2 to the power a and then raise it to the power b equals 8. This is 2 to the power b, 2 to the power 2b times 2 to the power 2b or not 2b. I forgot to say that. Times 2 to the power ab equals 8 which can be written as 2 to the power 3. Now we're multiplying two powers with the same base so we can add the exponents. This gives us 2 to the power 2b plus ab equals 2 to the power 3. Now the bases are equal, the numbers are equal, so the exponents are also equal. Which means this equals 3. So let's go ahead and write it down. 2b plus ab is equal to 3. What are we looking for? We're looking for ab plus 2b, but this is equal to that. ab plus 2b is equal to 3 and the answer is 3. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Now my second method is different because I'm going to use logs, logarithms. If you're not familiar with logarithms, don't worry about it because they're fairly easy. And basically logs are used to find the exponent. If the exponent is an unknown, for example, let's say I have, maybe not to use the 2 to the power 3, maybe I have 5 to the second equals 25. When you ask the question, okay, what is log 25 with base 5, the answer would be the exponent, which is 2 in this case. In other words, you're asking the question, 5 to the power what number equals 25, and the answer is 2 in this case. Let's say you didn't know that, and you could always ask that question and find the answer. Okay, for our second method, we're going to use logs, but how? Let's rewrite the original problem, 2 to the power a equals 3, and 12 to the power b is equal to 8. Now let's go ahead and log both sides of each equation. Let's start with the first one. Log 2 to the power a equals log 3. Of course, both with base 2. And the reason why I use base 2 is fairly simple, because 2 is the base. Make sense? Okay. We can go ahead and use the a over here. Log 2 with base 2 is always 1 because 2 to the power 1 equals 1, right? 2 to the power 1 equals 2, I mean. 2 to the power 1 equals 2. So it's always 1. So this becomes A, and we get the answer. If you're familiar with logs, you're going to be able to write this directly. As soon as you see 2 to the power A equals 3, you can immediately say, or you should be able to say, log 3 with base 2 is A because that the log is looking for the exponent. Make sense? I hope so. So we got the a, and let's go ahead and use that shortcut for the second one. Similarly, we can write this as b equals log 8. 8 is the answer with base 12. So base doesn't change. So we get these two things. How are we going to use them? What are we trying to evaluate? Always check what the question is, right? a, b plus 2b. What is a? log 3 with base 2. Great. And what is b? b is also given. But let's go ahead and do this. Forget about this. I want to do the following. I have a common factor. Why don't we take advantage of that? Let's take out a b. Then I get a plus 2. Now I can go ahead and replace b and a with what they are. b is log 8 base 12. a is log 3 base 2. Of course, there is a plus 2 inside the parentheses. 
And this is what I'm trying to evaluate because this is equal to AB plus 2B, right? Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this. How do you simplify this? First of all, notice that I can write the 2 as a log with base 2. So I can write it as log 4 with base 2 because 2 to the second power equals 4, remember, using the definition of logs. And then we can kind of put these two together. What is log x plus log y? It can be written as log x times y. So this is equal to log 8, 12 stays the same. And inside the parentheses, we're getting log 12 with base 2. Now, how do you multiply these two things, right? They're different bases. They're different stuff. Well, change of base is a super powerful rule for logarithms. So let's go ahead and change use, uh, use change of base. This can be written as log 8 over log 12 by change of base to base 10. The second one is log 12 over log 2. Log 12 cancels out and log 8 can be written as log 2 to the third power. And then the 3 can be moved. This gives us 3 log 2 over log 2 and the log 2 cancels out and we end up with 3 and remember 3 is the answer. It's not always the answer to any problem but for this particular problem the answer is 3. And this brings us to the end of this video. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then be safe, take care and bye bye.